Intopia. WCAG 2.2 at a glance. 2.4.11 Focus Not Obscured Minimum. Many of us feel like our devices are a part of us, but we're not cyborgs just yet. When we use our devices, we need to know where we're going and what we're doing. A mouse cursor can visually show people where they're moving to and what they're clicking. For methods of navigation like keyboards, switch devices, or voice control, the same role is done by a focus indicator. Focus is usually indicated through a change in color, outline, or shading. But these indicators aren't so useful if the component is obscured. Success Criterion 2.4.11 Focus Not Obscured Minimum is about ensuring that when a user interface component receives focus, a part of the component must be visible. This will help sighted users to keep an eye on what they're doing. So what might cause a component to become hidden on the page? One common cause is sticky content like headers, footers, or banners. Sticky content remains visible or sticks to a specific place on the screen as the person moves through a page. The sticky content and the component someone wants can occupy the same space on the screen. The sticky content might cover part or all of the component depending on how it's been coded. The same can happen with non-modal dialogues, where extra content is displayed in dialogue and the primary content can still be accessed. Often, sticky or non-modal content may only be designed to suit a particular page width. In this case, content that is visible on desktop might become obscured when viewed on mobile or magnified. When a person cannot tell what item is in focus, they might not know how to proceed, or they might think they have encountered a bug or caused an error. So how do we stop these page sections from getting in the way? There are two ways we could make sure this banner won't obscure any content. We can make sure the banner can be closed, or we can use code to make sure the banner won't overlap any other content even if the page display changes. Some design patterns might only temporarily obstruct focusable content, like a menu or chatbot window. In these cases, we could reflow the page, or we could move focus into the new component until it's dismissed. Sometimes, pop-up features like our chatbot window can be moved around the page by the user. But as long as the starting position of the movable component meets our requirements, then it's okay. Focus Not Obscured Minimum is a level AA criterion, but it has a level AAA companion, 2.4.12, Focus Not Obscured Enhanced. At level AA, only part of the component needs to be visible. At level AAA, all of the component must be visible. Whichever level you need to meet, aim for maximum visibility and look forward to a better internet. <laughs> <laughs>